Hello and welcome back. In this Black Excellence presentation, we will highlight the innovative performing arts form known as Hip Lay. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Hip Lay was created by artistic director Homer Hans Bryant that has evolved from the rap ballet of the 1990s into the hip hop ballet hybrid of the 21st century. Designed to make ballet accessible to all people, Hip Lay is a fusion between classical point technique, hip hop, and a variety of other dance styles. But without further ado, let's get started. Hip Lay was first coined in 2009, but in May 2016, dancers from the Chicago Multicultural Dance Center, CMDC, started performing Hip Lay and helped it gain widespread popularity after a video of the dancers attained thousands of views on Instagram. After GMA aired one of their performances, offers for commercial work and collaborations from the world's most notable tastemakers, including Mercedes-Benz and Vogue, started pouring in. Hip Lay is notable for its combination of ballet style movement, which is ethnographically Eurocentric and primarily white, and hip hop, which is rooted in and grown out of African dance and rich urban culture from communities of color. With its strong roots in traditional movement, dancers train to advance to point through years of practice. But ballet is at the core of hip lay, and strong technical skills are imperative to being able to safely practice hip lay. Hip Lay is the brainchild of Homer Hans Bryant, a former dance theater of Harlem Principal, who in 1981 founded CMDC. Bryant is a fantastic ballet teacher, known for his boot camp-like approach to ballet training. He's inspiring and effective, well-versed in technique, and is a stickler for strength, stamina, and precision. Bryant started putting hip-hop movement on point in 1994 with a piece he choreographed for his students called the Rap Ballet, inspired by a concert he attended in Canada. That evolved into what has become Hip Lay, which is now a regular class at his school and a national phenomenon. At the moment, CMDC is the only studio in the world that specializes and instructs Hip Lay. The dancers are exclusively female and span the ages of 12 to 18. They master movements like the hip lay strut, walking on point with hips that sway from side to side. The duck walk, or what they call the ump viv, a dance derived from an episode of The Fresh Prince. Nonetheless, point work is an essential component in ballet and is also a critical element of hip lay. And just in case you didn't know, in ballet, point is derived from sur la pointe, or on the tip of the toe. It gives ballet dancers the ability to convey the illusion of flight or weightlessness. If ballet aims for the ethereal, hip lay generally dance to pop music is more concerned with earthiness. It has soulfulness too. While the lower half of the body can be sharp and percussive, the upper half, how the arms connect with the back, conveys a natural flow. Hip lay does not come without its detractors and haters. Some ballet dancers and instructors criticize the young dancers for not having solid ballet training and lacking fundamental ballet techniques. Others feel that it undercuts the advances that black dancers have made in the traditional ballet arena, thus making a mockery of their honest effort to diversify the ballerina movement. And not to mention that with bent knees and slightly flexed ankles, it may look aesthetically awkward or even dangerous. Bryant said that some have accused him of ruining ballet by incorporating hip hop. His response was, well, no, it's not ballet, it's hip lay. It's how we empower our kids. It's how we empower the world. Hip lay is so freeing and so open. So it's a different culture here. One thing that cannot be denied is that these young ladies are being offered an alternative to the harsh realities of Chicago, and they are indeed having a wonderful experience while seeing parts of the world that otherwise would have remained foreign to them. And although hip lay challenges the traditional notions of ballet, in which line and form are held to exacting standards, Mr. Bryant's hybrid pulls more from classical ballet than it does from hip hop. 
St. Thomas Born Bryant has made sure to incorporate a variety of ballet steps into his choreography and admits that hip lay has its limitations and that certain moves in hip hop just can't be transferred to point. Bryant trains his students to build strong feet and legs and to have proficiency on point and the ability to pull back in their ankles instead of keeping them straight. He understands that most of his students simply do not want to be ballerinas. If they do go into dance, it will be with a contemporary company or they have dreams of performing in Europe. But his end game is to simply elevate these kids into who they are and to make a difference. And giving African American dancers, who have often struggled to fit into the world of ballet, a space to shine. Many of Bryant's dancers felt overlooked at their old predominantly white dance studios and have come to praise the non-traditional center. Many felt the pressure of race, but through hip lay, they can elevate their love of dancing with a sense of pride, freedom, and confidence of being themselves. Bryant hopes to expand upon hip lay's success and bring this innovative art form to audiences around the world while continuing to invest in the programs CMDC offers its students and community. Bryant sees dance as a way to build character and discipline. Finding inspiration from his daughter's challenges with cerebral palsy, he pursues perfection but understands fallibility as well. At the time of this video, the young ladies are contestants on America's Got Talent. We wish them luck and Godspeed. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.